Good morning, lovelies. Zoe 2 see with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you. And today is another nice little news drop. So first things first, uh, before I forget to mention it, uh, I did not get to do a visual guide for this month, like fully properly. I do apologize for that, but we simply didn't have all of the news events uh, all at once for this month. So going forward, I am gonna be doing what I did this month, which was like this month, which was take a photo of like the month as it goes and post it in the community section, the community tab on this channel. So if you did miss it and you want to see that one, it is available there. Uh, and it has now been updated with a new event. The Halloween stuff's all been announced and a few other little bits and pieces that were announced for the month of October. The first thing being that the Halloween event has been announced. It's going to be running from the 23rd of October until the 3rd of November. The times for the start and finish of this event are like the evening uh, in PDT. So that very well will be like the morning or midday, depending where you are in the world, like the next day. So be sure to double check for your time zones. Main features of this event being uh, ghost Pokemon popping more in the wild and in eggs. It doesn't specify which, but just ghost type Pokemon. For the first bit of flavor, we're gonna have Gengar in a costume uh, spawning in raids, and we're gonna have a costumed Sableye as well in the wild and in eggs. This Gengar is really, really cute. It was one of the, was it 2018, 2019, uh, like Pokemon Center plushie. It's like Gengar with like the little curse nail in it and the bayonet mega bayonet like outfit on. It's really, really cool. It's, I think it's a really cute costume design. And you know, it's actually one of the evolved forms getting a costume, which is sick. And then Sableye seems to be rocking this cute like little Litwick hat. So nothing too crazy, but just a bit of Halloween flair. Something I wasn't expecting though is Galarian Yamask is going to be spawning uh, for the Halloween event. And that is going to, I guess, hopefully mean Runarigus? I don't know. It, I mean, it's it's basically. Uh, I always say that one wrong. It's basically the alternate evolution for Cofagrigus or Cofagrius or however you would like to say that other one. It is the Galarian kind of like evolution of Galarian your mask. It's this guy. It's like a bunch of runes all spooky and floating together. You get it, Rune Rune Arigus? It's we're getting that. Hopefully, maybe we're getting at least Galarian your mask, which is cool. The Galarian Yamask is going to be tied to apparently some Halloween research. So our good old yearly special research is going to be kind of investigating this Galarian Yamask. Additionally, we're going to have just regular field research tasks that are Halloween themed. And you probably guessed it as well. I know a lot of people are guessing for our shiny Spiritomb and we are going to be getting shiny Spiritomb uh, through both the special research, but also in just field research tasks. So that sounds like we're going to be getting chances at multiple that sounds like chances at multiple uh, Spiritum, and then therefore multiple chances to check for shiny Spiritum, which is pretty cool. This has been a Pokemon that's like, we've if you've been playing since Day Dot, you'd only have like two of these because they've been like the last two years, like special, like reward for doing the research. So keep your peepers out for that. It's not a bad shiny at all. So good luck if you are shiny hunting it. And if you can't get enough research either, timed research will be happening for uh, Mega Gengar Energy, some Gengar Menergy in timed research for the Halloween event. Mega Gengar, I believe, should be popping in raids for Halloween too. Additionally, I think another one that everyone kind of guessed pretty much correctly, because we were like, what else is it gonna be? Our legendary raid boss for the Halloween event is going to be Darkrai. So spoopy vibes, spoopy theme. It's Darkrai for our legendary T5 raid bosses. We're gonna be getting some new avatar items. So I might hold publishing this video for a couple of hours just to see if like we actually get some visual assets for this. So when you're seeing this, hopefully it's not too late or anything, but uh, apparently gonna get Pikachu mask, Gengar onesies, uh, Sableye mask, Sableye goggles, and a Bayonet mask. So we'll see what those look like. And additionally, we can try a new spooky pose. Uh, I don't know if this is one that they were hinting at, or maybe like, I don't know if it could be hinted or not. There were like characters doing like the good old fashioned slav squat. So we'll see if that's the move or if there's gonna be something like proper spooky for Halloween. Additionally, the post teases are new like sale boxes or item boxes coming to the shop. The creep crate, the boo bundle and the pumpkin pack. Guessing as well that these are probably gonna be the uh, three like these are probably gonna look like the three special item boxes that we saw uh, data mined as well. So keep in mind that data mined information is not like confirmed by Niantic or, um, you know, these things aren't necessarily guaranteed, blah, blah, blah. They're not the source of truth, but this is what they look like. So maybe we'll see uh, if this information is accurate. That's prob probably possibly what the boxes will look like.
There's a note here as well to take some snapshot photos. So probably gonna get photo bombed by something spoopy and then have a spawn come in from those Halloween themes. Additional bonuses are going to be uh, two times catch candy and two times transfer candy. So clear out your storage, <laughs> clear out your storage. If you're not someone who's doing it every like Tuesday when we've got that two times transfer anyway, got the whole Halloween event to just be doing a big deep clean out, do a bunch of trades if you've got someone you can trade with and just transfer, 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 clear it all out. Within this Halloween event as well, we've got kind of like three other little mini events happening throughout. The first one being the ghost catching event. That'll be Sunday the 25th from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. your local time. It's gonna be uh, kind of like incentivizing good, great, excellent throws, different rewards based on that, some timed research. Drifloon appearing more often, it is a shiny potential Pokemon. And there'll be field research tasks as well, giving Gengar mega energy too. This day again, we'll be rewarding extra XP for a nice, great and excellent throw. So depending how much that kind of stacks up to be, a nice little XP grind if you're keen. Then on the Monday, the 26th, again, this is PDT time, so it could be the 27th, depending where you are in the world. We'll start the Halloween Cup. So through Go Battle League, you can do the Halloween Cup and it is limited to poison, bug, dark, ghost, and fairy type Pokemon all in the Great Leagues so under 1,500 CP. But it's looking like it's gonna be like a fun kind of setup. Similar, I think this, I think this or almost this exact theme happened once for a Sylph tournament maybe like last year or something. But similar kind of thing to what we've expected from previous Sylph Cups. I'm having one of those in a hot second. But basically being able to participate in like a proper themed cup. That's gonna run until the 3rd of November as well. But that'll be a fun little way to spice up the uh, Go Battle League. I know I haven't done as many battles as what I could. I just, I really love Great League and I always forget to properly do the battles and like before the <laughs> league changes. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of Master League. I don't really do it at all. Ultra I can get by, but I'm actually looking forward to competing in the Halloween Cup. Additionally, by competing in the Halloween Cup, you will have chances to encounter costumed Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. And as a guess, I'd say it's probably the same costumes as last year. Were they all costumed last year? Yes, yes they were. That would be my assumption. Don't hold me to that though. Uh, and those were available as shiny too. And lastly, on Sunday the 31st will be Alolan Marowak Raid Day. So it's been a hot second since we've had like a raid day event in Pokemon Go, like a hot second. Keep in mind, Alolan Marowak isn't the trickiest one to defeat, so you don't have to necessarily squat up with heaps of people or risk yourself or your health or anything like that. Uh, again, raids can be done remotely, all that kind of jazz, and it's gonna be running from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. your local time. So again, stay safe. There's no need to kind of like crowd and do that whole thing, but that is an option if you wanna do some Alolan Marowak raids. It's got a nice shiny. It's pretty good in PvP. It's got, it's got a little bit of everything, a little bit of everything. So that is the cliff notes for the, finally, I think this is everything for the month of October. I mean, we're almost done with the month of October. It's just like, holy dooly, where is this year gone? But it's been a busy, busy month and there's still more to come. Plenty of Halloween adventures coming your way too. I did decide to stack up just a few more 12 kegs. I'm gonna be like really, really passive about that. Like not go out of my way to get the 12 Ks. But you guys have been saying you guys want to see, as I said, you want to let the creators risk it for the biscuit and see what we get out of that. And that's perfectly fine. I'm willing to take that gamble rather than making you guys hatch your own and stuff if you think you're going to get that trubbish curse. So more egg hatches coming very soon too. And some spooky shiny hunting. I still don't have shiny Duskull and that has been out since it, since it launched in the game. Additionally, the Crown Tundra DLC will be dropping uh, this slash ne next week, I think in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So I'll be streaming a bunch of that over on Twitch too. So if you're not following on Twitch, be sure to do so. Twitch.tv forward slash Zoe two dots. Let me know in the comments down below guys, is there something in particular that you are looking forward to for this Halloween event? You're just chilling and cruising by, you're not particularly phased or you are hyped, like Halloween is your time. Let me know. As always lovelies, thank you so, so much for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch are in the description down below. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.